Hello, uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, edit update grid view raw in ASP dot net C sharp. Uh, that is part one. Because uh, in this part I will uh, clear you uh, how to design the grid view edit raws, or you can say the edit item templates. Okay. So first of all, uh, talks about database table. Mm, which is bind with the grid view so uh, we have a uh, database table uh, or you can design the database table using the server explorer uh, I have a database that is database dot MDF file in which uh, table right click on the table name and add a new table uh, by using this uh, procedure we can create a database table in server explorer after creating the database table you can design the layout of the grid view actually I want to uh, edit rows here so uh, if we take two columns then we design three columns actually uh, first for the uh, edit button and the second for the uh, column name and also third for the column name so here we have a uh, table that is uh, having two columns that is ID and name the ID part takes data type that is integer and that second that is name uh, which is data type is variable type character 50 okay now update the database uh, the name of the table is user table here we have a ID is automatically incremented by one that is identity and the name takes some values uh, which is uh, variable type characters okay after creating the table you can add some items in the table okay so simply expand the table by using the right click on it and the show table data uh, okay that's uh, that's I mean to say you can put some value in the name column because ID is automatically incremented by one okay now design the grid view so uh, take a grid view inside the division control so ASP colon grid view here ID is any uh, any name string name you can take but different to others okay run at server it means that's control is server side and automatically generated column means false uh, it means uh, .NET uh, does not provide our control uh, our columns so manually you can design the columns okay so design the columns the first columns um, referred by the template field uh, having that header text is control controls okay that is the header field in which we can take two uh, um, templates that is item template representation the front end here we have a item template in which we can take a simple button that is added when we first time your bra uh, your application is loaded on the browser that template is uh, appear on your screen that is item template the first time that is a uh, template run on your screen that is item template in which we have a single button that is edit button with the command name edit actually uh, we have some command name like edit cancel update uh, new uh, etc select uh, etc uh, that's mean of particular specific meaning in asp.net so if we uh, if we uh, look in the design view then create a button uh, without having text so uh, apply in the text that is edit okay in in this template when we click on the edit button uh, then edit item template open when we click on the edit button uh, by using the item template that template will open that is edit item template in which we have two button that is update and cancel with the having text that is cancel and the command name also the update and cancel update and cancel 
okay now also change the id of that button uh, that is update button and the cancel button remember it again when we click on the edit button that template is open on same place or you can say the single uh, or you can say the first column um, that is represent the uh, template field okay now second template field is referred to the id that is column of uh, database table so template field item template in which we can take a single label ASP label run at server and ID of the label is ID label ID LBL run at server and the text of the server uh, bind with the database table okay evil the method of the evil or you can take the bind method also evil the database table column name here you can take what is the column name of the that is id okay uh, in which we does not take edit item template because the id is automatically incremented so does not changes uh, using the uh, update command now you can take header text that is id now the third column represent to the name the data paste column name header text change with the name here we have a item template that is representation on the label but here we have a single edit item template and in this edit item template i will take a text box control okay text box run it when we click on the edit button then uh, the first column converted into the two button that is update and cancel the second uh, column does not changes in any because in which we cannot uh, take edit item template and the third column also change in edit item template in which we have a text box okay uh, asp text box id equals to name text run at server and the text is evil and the text and the name of the database column that is name that's fine uh, okay so uh, our template is ready now comes to the code behind part okay now come to the code behind part code when the first time page is load uh, then your grid is bind with the database table so uh, here we have some logics uh, to bind the database table with the uh, grid view it's a simple scenarios uh, uh, for this we uh, we have some id.net namespaces and classes uh, like the sql connection sql command data reader adapters data set data tables and various uh, classes we have in library but uh, you can take specific classes to bind the database table with the grid view like sql connection sql command sql data reader three tables three classes to enough to bind the uh, table with the grid view so the sql connection class actually exists in system.data.sql client that's already discussed in previous video tutorials uh, by using the connection string uh configuration manager actually exists in system dot configuration namespace dot to string connection string actually picked from the web dot config file but uh we have not connection string in a web dot config file uh, uh, in this latter session i will uh, create a connection string actually configuration manager class is exists in system dot configuration you can add manually con dot open sql command class this class is communicate with the database table 
cmd dot command text and the command text represent the select command select to start from table name that is user table okay that's fine we uh, associate the connection with the command that is cmd dot command oops connection goes to con SQL data source, SQL data reader, CMD dot execute reader, G1 dot data source is RD and G1 dot data bind. That's a method through which we can bind our grid view. But uh, here we have not a connection string. So create a connection string by using um, SQL data source, drag and drop SQL data source, configure data source, pick the database name, connection string. You can also copy uh, the connection string from there and also copy the name of the connection string by using the web.config file. So copy the name of the connection string by using the config web.config file so open the web.config file and copy the name connection string and after copy you can remove the control from the page and paste it here that's fine now run your code and browser right click on it and view in browser okay uh it will take uh, some times to load uh, your page on your browser uh, default 3.aspx uh, wait for some times to load uh, this page and view your output uh, what is in this page uh, default 3.aspx i think it's take too much time to load on your browser because the connections is not properly connected to database and take some times I think mm -hmm. yeah is uploaded successfully when we click on the edit button then getting the error message uh, what error message I uh, I can uh, take uh, get even edit on row edit uh, event handling is not fired so click on the row editing event that is row editing event on the grid view click on it save and refresh it what the logic in the row editing actually we have to done it row editing was not handled actually row editing was not handled properly that is message so uh, what is the logic for the row editing method event in the row editing I want to convert that template into the mm, edit item template actually so g1 dot edit index equals to e dot e for edit event arguments and then getting the new edit index and new edit index it means to edit item templates and after that load the data by grid view okay just save this and refresh it again oops getting same error when we click on the edit oops the history was saved in your browser uh, and run it again When we run this page again, you get the proper message on your screen. And getting the second types of error. When we click on this button, the template is converted into the edit item template. That is first column represent the edit item template in which we can take two buttons. Uh, that is in the source part. The first template of the edit item can take two button. When we click on the edit, then we have two button that is update and cancel that is update and cancel 
the second part the second column id does not take the edit item template so here we have not edit uh, id and third part also take the uh, text box so we have a text box but when we click on the update button and the cancel button so we uh, also get and the error message so handle this by using the cancel edit so again fire the second event that is cancel edit row cancel edit yeah the same thing we can do here but nothing changes in actually so pass minus one that is null edit index that is represent to null again refresh cancel oops getting same error uh, it does not uh, cache clear so run it again after doing this so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials and must watch to the second video tutorials through which you can learn more about uh, raw update and edits thank you thank you very much